We all know about the Mario, Zelda and Pokemon games, but what about the hidden gems? Games that are never really talked about but are a joy to play. Today I'm going through a list of hidden gems you should check out, so in no particular order, let's jump straight in. First up we have Earthlock. Now Earthlock is an RPG title developed by a small Norwegian development company by the name of Snow Castle Games. I wanted to include this little gem on the list because it's non-linear, it's not on rails, so you get to go where you want to go. I also really like the varied turn-based combat in this one. The warrior class uses consumable items such as ammunition, and the protector class can use spells and shields to help support you in battle. When you take damage in battle, your party collects support points which can be used in trade for other moves. If you haven't checked this one out yet and want a new RPG, give this one a go. Next up we have a game heavily inspired by the infamous Zelda series and Blossom Tales. This has very similar mechanics to Zelda and you play your way through monster infested dungeons in order to save the kingdom of Blossom from internal darkness. The unique twist in this one is that the story is told as a granddad reading his grandkids a bedtime story. If you're into the old style 2D Zelda games, give this one a try as you will not be disappointed. Some may say this is really not a hidden gem, but if you're not into your indie titles, you may not be familiar with this one. This is a side-scrolling platform with a unique edge. You control a girl called Madeline, who has the ability to form a mid-air dash on eight different directions. What makes this challenging is this move can only be used once, and is only then regained by hitting the ground or collecting the various crystals within each stage. This is a game where you'll have a lot of cheap deaths, you're going to die a lot, but each step further you get makes it just that little bit more rewarding. Next up we have Bad North. Now this is a real-time strategy video game developed by Plausible Concept, a game studio in Malmo, Sweden. The aim of this game is to defend the kingdom from the attacking of Viking invaders who killed the king and to guide the island people to be evacuated. Islands have a varied design so each game gives you a new challenge. If you're into strategy games this may be a good choice for you. Armello is a digital role-playing strategy board game which has been described as like Game of Thrones but of animals. In this title you use virtual dice and cards in order to carry out actions. Up to four players take on the role of a character that represent a different animal clan, each with their own strengths. The aim of the game is to storm the castle and become the new king or queen of the kingdom. The playing board area is divided into hexagon shaped tiles that contain randomly generated features such as dungeons to explore, quests to complete, rival heroes to battle and settlements to conquer. If role playing board type games tickle your fancy, pick this one up as hours of fun can be sunk into this one. Ape Out is a beat up style game with a top down view. You control a gorilla making his way through a maze whilst avoiding or defeating enemies. However, these enemies can be killed with a single attack or can be used to form a protective shield for our gorilla friend. The overall aim of the game is to escape each maze. The mechanic I like in this game, similar to the Metal Gear series, is that you can make it through each area without actually killing an enemy, although it does make it a bit easier if you do kill the enemies. This game can often be on sale in the eShop, and if you haven't tried it yet, it's well worth your time. Toki Tori 2 Plus is a puzzle game with a very nice and easy straightforward two button mechanic. Your A button acts as a whistle, which can either be used as one short blast to play various melodies, and your B button performs a stomp. Although these buttons and controls are simple at heart, it doesn't take long for the game to reach quite high levels of difficulty. If you're looking for a new challenge, give this one a go. This hidden gem is a supernatural adventure game. Oxen 3 is played from a 2.5D perspective, three dimensional characters navigating two dimensional environments. The player controls a teenager named Alex using a local island with a group of mates, or friends if you're from overseas. After making the mistake of unleashing a paranormal force on the island, Alex and mates must figure out what the force is and how to stop it. There's a great story to this one, and if you're looking for something a little bit spooky and different, pick this one up. 
Now Moonline 2 is a game I've covered on this channel before and that's because while well, it's one of my favourite games ever made, by night you hunt monsters and dungeons to collect valuable loot and by day you sell the loot in your shop. What's unique about this gem is that you have to gauge what price you're going to sell your loot for by judging your customers' reactions. Not only that, by selling loot in your shop you're able to upgrade your shop and your character. If you haven't given this one a go yet, give it a go, but be prepared to spend many many hours in this one as it's very addictive. Into the Breach is a turn-based strategy title. In this one you control soldiers that control giant mechs that can be equipped with a range of weapons and armour. This game uses a turn-based combat system, allowing the players to control the moves of their teammates to counter the enemy's actions. In combat you control three different mechs against the enemy, be given a mission for that map along with a fixed number of turns to complete the mission. The main objective for any map is to protect civilian structures that support the power grid that supports the mechs. For a big fan of strategic turn-based combat games, this may just be the game for you. If you want to check any of these games out, I'll put a link in the description where you can pick some of these up. Any hidden gems that I've missed, let me know in the comments below. Now that's going to do it for today's top 10. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video and to help me grow, and subscribe if you want more regular content just like this. See you later guys.